another train with 57,000. Okay. And they got. Radio, you city. Morning. That, um, that Richard Mill, bro. Okay. Welcome to 689. How much? Bro, I feel like a duck, bro. I'm a duck. Like, bro, I feel like a duck. 250, uh, 30,000. And what was it called again? Richard Mill. R-I-C-H-A-R-D. My bad, mama. I ain't tripping. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. This is just insulting my intelligence. Good. And I want to tell you before we even jump into this, guys, Young Dolph did not cooperate. I know people going to come in here saying some wild stuff. No. He had to make a claim so he can get his stuff back with his insurance company. So all Young Dolph did and the guy that was with him was explain what was taken out of the vehicle. He didn't say anything about the perpetrators or the people that are responsible for it. He didn't even know. Even if he did know, he didn't have anything to say. So I want you guys to really get that across. No Young Dolph disrespect will be tolerated, but I feel like this was pretty cool. Um, you guys get to see Young Dolph you know what happened a lot of people reported it now i know you guys majority of the people on this channel are young Dolph's fans so better late than never now if you guys don't know back in 2019 young Dolph was enjoying lunch at an atlanta area cracker barrel when some thieves broke into his car and stole almost five hundred thousand dollars in jewelry and cash from his custom camo g-wagon everybody knows about the g-wagon looks like he was having lunch the particular location of this Cracker Barrel, and you can see Young Doll's vehicle from the street. So they were saying that some people pulled up, broke into the car, and they took everything. Now here's the official police report, you guys. But on 2-28-2019, at approximately 12:27 hours, I was dispatched to 7995 uh, Siona Road, Fairburn, Georgia. Upon my arrival, I met with the complainant and victim Adolph Thornton, who advised that a 2018 camo color, 2018 Mercedes Benz driver's side window was damaged and items were stole out of the vehicle. Thornton and his occupant advised that they arrived to the restaurant between the hours of 11.15 to 11.20 hours. Now Thornton advised that he was notified by the restaurant staff of the incident and advised there was surveillance footage. And now and then it shows what Young Dolph actually got stole. Now it says, spoke with Thornton who advised that his diamond chain was stolen valued at around 27,000. Another chain valued around 57,000, a Richard Milley a watch valued at 230,000, a Patek Philippe watch, which was valued at 85,000, Cartier glasses with gold frame and purple lenses, valued at 24,000. Also advised that a weapon was taken from the vehicle. He advised that the weapon was not his, it did belong to his brother, as well as the vehicle. Now, Thornton could not provide a serial number for that weapon, but was given an email address and advised to email him with the serial number at his earliest convenience. Then it pretty much says that Young Dolph said that he would have to pay $700 to get the shattered window replaced. And then it just shows the actual investigation. They went inside the Cracker Barrel, spoke with the manager, looked at the surveillance, then they went across the street to the QT, which is called quick trip and they viewed the surveillance footage they said it was a civil vehicle i know you guys really don't care about that you want to get into it so let's jump right into it Uh, 734 responded to this location, showing that going for a case number 
anything else? I'm going to show you about 5097 Preserve Pass, 1241. I don't know nothing, Henderson. My, they got my out of that You got your, um, what kind of? Uh, the, um, so. What? Do you have, um. Ford, man. It was a Ford, It was my brother's, man. It's his truck. It was, it was in there and it's gone. All right. Okay. Black. Is there any way you get the serial number? Yeah, man, uh, one, go ahead. I can, but it's gonna be a minute before I get a case number. I know I can't get it right now. Okay. I'll give you um my email address. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this card. I'm gonna give you my email address. And whenever you get the time, just email it so I can put it on GCIC. Copy clear on the I'm not doing this with you right now, Henderson. Uh, uh, yeah, that was, God bless America. Here, Henderson, you you'll move it. it it's a key in now. That's the case card for you too. Um, give me three to five business days before your report is complete. Call the first number on the card. Give them the case number. That's the number I wrote in, and they'll let you know if your report is uh, ready for you to pick up. So it was two pair. Cause mine he said it was twenty five hundred. That was his. I'm talking about mine. Okay. What color were yours? That gold frames. That gold frames. Frame. Frame. They got like purple lenses in them. Twenty five. How much? Like four thousand. Four thousand. Yeah. Okay. Was the money yours? Because it was in your bag or was it his? I just need to know how to itemize it and put who had what. It was it was my money. Okay. You said what? There's the money in my bag. The money that was in the bag. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Anything else? Take a look. Watch me have a 6500 Washington Street 170 0021 and 12. Uh huh. Yeah. How much to fix your window? Okay. I don't know, really, to you. Might be um, Okay. What you want? Hey, what caliber? He said a 40. You know, 40 cal? Any way that you can get your serial number by any chance? I gave him my email address. Yeah, she gave him no card. I'll figure it out. It takes you to your card. Yeah, because we don't want nobody to sit there and use it. Excuse me, 26, 22, 4, 1, 8, that's 2, 4, 1, 8. 12, 51. They said they got here about 11, 15, 11, 20. Um, did, the, did the cashier give a description of the person? The people that was just up there with them, uh, saw it. The, people, the two cashiers walked out is the one that saw it. The one saw it. Oh, they left already? Yeah, they just left. Oh! What they have on? Uh, you know, uh, you were always on days, but I was acting a fool with Boosie that night. Oh, you had Boosie? Yeah, I was acting a fool with him. Hey, I know you. You're Boosie. Hey, what Because at first they said Camaro. Like, they gave out, like, Charger Camaro. Now, didn't that look like a Nissan, but that's white. 
that them pulling in? Yeah, there he is. Yep, that's oh, them pulling in. 1123. Yep. Get up to the car, really. Is there anything yeah, about him? Car. What? His car. He 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 well. he, no, he told me that he went in to make sh to check his stuff. So I was like, why well, can't do check for fingerprints? What did he say he was missing? Did he say, like, did I hear him right? Or what? did he say there are, like, some enormous sum of cash in this? 2000 His friend said 2000 Oh, uh, okay. Uh, two, uh, I thought it was like... You need $2,000 in the car? I do too. Every time I park. All hundreds. You got a... Diamond chain worth twenty seven thousand, another one worth fifty seven thousand, uh Richard Millie two hundred thirty thousand. What's up? I don't know. If it's over a hundred, I don't know. Okay. These foreign names. So he's claiming like three hundred thousand dollars of jewelry, Miss. Yeah, eighty five thousand dollars in the Cartier glasses, a Mac computer, an iPad. Oh, that? Uh-huh, a Pirelli bag. The bag was a Pirelli bag, which is $300. $2,500 dollar glasses. Who's in the shoe, I wonder? $24,000 worth of glasses. So... That's a, oh, but um, see, that's white, the, though. Carrier for a motion. Hey. Hey, where are we? We still going through the footage because we checking all the cameras, okay? So, if we find anything, then a detective will probably give you a call and let you know. So, yeah, um, if we find out anything further, then a detective will probably give y'all a call. Sure. Mm -hmm. so we okay. Understand. All right. I appreciate it. Uh huh. Okay. Now, Young Dolph said he was not upset about the people who actually did it. He was just upset that he had to go through the situation. A few days after, he was interviewed by TMZ, and he pretty much says that that's what makes the world go around. 